What's up everybody, it's your video expert. Well, yesterday I saw this video about um, the so-called pancake technique. And as this technique is perfectly fine for certain scenarios, there might be a better, quicker, more elegant way to do it when it comes to like selecting and rearranging your clips. So let's say you have this timeline and you selected all the interesting scenes. And now you wanna make a selection and um, rearrange it. How would you do that? And I don't even know if this technique has a name. I don't know, call it Swiss cheese technique. If you have a name for it, just put it into the comment section. Let's let's find a name for that. Uh, yeah, let's take a look uh, at how this works. So we're in the timeline here. First thing, we wanna make sure the function uh, playhead selection follows playhead is activated. Now, as I go through this, nothing happens, but when I activate video track one, as you can see, the, the clips are getting selected automatically. If it doesn't behave this way on your end, just go to sequence and activate selection follows playhead. And now what you can do, and we will, uh, we will use a certain shortcut. Um, if you, if you hit the arrow down key, you will just jump from one cut to the next. And that's um, very handy when it comes to selecting your clips because what we're gonna do is with another shortcut, we're gonna move the selected clip one track up, okay? So let's say we're starting here and hitting the arrow down button and now hit tap and hold alt, the alt key and hit the arrow up key, okay? That way you're moving the clip one track up. And the second track here, it's actually where we're gonna park our selection. Arrow down, alt up, arrow down. Let's say we're gonna skip this one. Arrow down, alt up, arrow down, alt up, and alt up. Arrow down, arrow down, alt up, arrow down, alt up. So once you get that into your muscle memory, you're gonna be going through this vast amount of clips. Let's say you have a very long sequence very quickly. It's a very handy way to make selections very quickly. So let's finish this up. Arrow down, arrow down, alt up, alt up, arrow down, arrow down, alt up, and so on and so forth, okay? And now let's say we made our selection and all the selected clips, the desired clips, are now located in track two. What are we gonna do with that? Let's say we wanna select a few more clips. We wanna boil it down a little more, so we're going through this again, but this time you're gonna to have to activate uh, video track two and deactivate video track one. So it takes all the clips and cuts from video track two into consideration when you're moving through this with the arrow keys. So again, alt down, um, arrow down, <laughs> alt, arrow up, and next, and as you can see, it jumps right to the next clip on track two, see that? So up, up, we're skipping that one, skip that, up, 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 up. Let's say we wanna skip that, so hit arrow down one more time, and so on. Pretty simple, once you get a hang of it. Boom, and boom, okay? So let's say that's your selection. What are we gonna do with it now? Um, you don't have to actually delete this. You could, of course, you would have made a backup of your um, sequence. But if you wanna keep it, just toggle the visibility and lock the layers. Because um, that's what we need for the next trick to work. We're gonna work with a transparent video as a placeholder. If you don't have a transparent video, just create one. Um, I happen to have one here. Place it above your first clip, extend it to the end of your selection, since these clips are your selection, and now, select your clips. You could do that with the select track forward tool. That's this one, or hit the A key. And now by holding the shift key, you will select everything that's located on this track to the right of the cursor. So select this. So what are we gonna do with it now? So hold the Alt key and hit the arrow up key. And still holding the Alt key, hit arrow down again. So what that did, it punched holes into the placeholder transparent video where our clips are located. 
And now with the select track forward tool and holding down shift, select our placeholders. Now let go of the shift key, alt key and arrow down. And with these clips, these placeholders, right where our gaps are, still selected, hold shift and delete. And now you end up with your selection all lined up, no gaps, and you're good to go. Let's do it one more time. Control Z, Control Z, and that's the starting point, okay? So you've got your transparent video, your placeholder for your gaps, starting point, extend it. Now, with the select track forward tool and hold down the shift key, that's what you would use if you have a very long sequence, but you could, of course, go ahead and drag a selection. Now tap and hold the Alt key and hit the arrow up key. And then still holding the Alt button, arrow down. That is punching these holes into our placeholder. And then select the placeholders, hold down the Alt key and the arrow down. And then with these still selected, hit Shift Delete. Okay. And now your selection selection is all lined up and good to go. Okay. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to not miss any tutorials. I'm going to come up with a tutorial about timeline tricks like these. So um, you want to hit the subscribe button to not miss anything. So yeah, thank you for watching.